So, what exactly are steroids? Well, they're a naturally occurring substance in both plants and animals, which govern specifically in humans processes diverse as the sex hormones and reproduction to bone and muscle growth and development. Steroids can be artificially produced. Most notable of these are the group of anabolic steroids, which were initially produced to treat various medical conditions and are still used today to treat issues relating to growth and hormone replacement, bone marrow stimulation, stimulating the appetite for those suffering serious medical conditions like AIDS. Other steroids are used to treat asthma, Crohn's disease, joint and muscle diseases and a wide range of other illnesses. It is notable these types of steroids do have widely differing side effects. Non-anabolic steroids may cause weight gain, bone thinning, high blood pressure and high sugar levels, skin problems, mood changes, most notably muscle weakening. Anabolic steroids, on the other hand, may affect the mental state not just in the form of the increased aggression of roid rage, but mania, depression and the risk of suicide. They're also likely to increase risks of cancer, heart attacks, growth defects, sexual dysfunction, liver and kidney issues. The effects of anabolic steroids are proportional to the amount taken. The more of these are introduced into the body, the greater the risk of developing cancer or other serious conditions relating to anabolic steroid abuse. Also, anabolic steroids are not chemically or physically addictive but they can be psychologically addictive, where people taking them miss the boost that they feel from taking them. And when withdrawing from their use, they may suffer from depression, loss of appetite, and various other problems whilst weaning themselves off the substance. All this means that, of course, any steroid, especially anabolic steroids, should only be taken under medical supervision and not continued after the need for them has passed. So that's what anabolic steroids and steroids are in general.